Hello, my fiery friends, the Inferno Man here with a quick little FYI for you. So, as you saw from yesterday's stream, if you didn't watch that at all, we had a bit of a snafu, so we kind of pooped out a little bit, but what you're seeing right now is going to be part two of the stream. I was able to recover it, and so you're going to be able to see the entire remainder of the stream that you may have missed out on in its entirety. Again, sorry for that, everybody, but hey, technical issues do happen. For what it's worth, though, if you do want to see the whole stream uninterrupted, it is actually available on Twitter and X, and technically, it also kind of, I guess, now is two parts over for on Twitch, but otherwise, for those of you that are here on YouTube, you also get a fair chance to see the remainder of the stream. I hope you enjoy. But before we continue, if you do like any of the content that I do, please like, follow, and subscribe wherever you watch the content. You can support me monthly for a small amount on Patreon, where I have all of my extended bonus footage posted, or for free, all you can just do also is just join our growing community on Discord. Your support helps keep this channel going. All links are in the details below. Sorry, I'm just doing a quick little test here, everybody. So with that, just want to make sure we're doing okay still here. So with that, just want to make sure we're doing okay still. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so I think we can still continue on. But... I want to test out on YouTube to see if we're still alive there. Hopefully. Otherwise, um, we'll just try to play as much as I can right now just to finish this off. We're going to see if we can just continue onward. And then, okay, so our opponent's playing Mabel here. And we're going to just try to wrap this up. This might be now a bit of more of a slower, smaller stream right here just to finish this off. But okay, I think we're sh we're good now. Okay, opponent's playing Charming Scoundrel. They swing, down to 25. Okay, got the Great Hinge, which is nice. So, Mountain here. Play Bane's Breaker Duo. Make a food. The food will be helpful for later. Uh, uh, opponent. Cannon Jabroa. That's a cute little card. Kind of go swinging here. We will not block. Down to 23. Okay, Spike Field Hazard. That'll be helpful for later. So with that, Cavern Souls. On Raccoon. Marrera coming in. We will attack. Do you have an answer, opponent? Down to 23. Okay, so we're even right now with our... with everything. <clears throat> Gotta go swinging here. No blocks. We're just gonna hold off on that. Down to 21. Uh, opponent. Okay, they got get lost, which is annoying. So we get two map tokens. Guess we'll take action. Bring back Marrero to our hand. Bristling backwoods. Okay, well that's not too bad. Um, bristling backwoods here. Ping our opponent for one. We will. How do we do this here? Um. <clears throat> we'll actually pass here. Okay. So, game plan right now. So, we're going to see if we can just stop them from getting Mabel out here. But that probably means that... Is it a mouse deck or is it an equipment deck? I guess we'll find out here. No blocks. Do you have an answer, opponent? What you got? Feather of Flight. So they have something of flying, but the good news is we have an answer for that right now. So we hit our opponent here, taking out the Canyon Jabroa. Too bad, opponents. 
It's going to get blown up right now. They do get the draw card, which is annoying, but that's fine. Down to 19. Okay, breakout. That's not too bad for later. So let's see. We will do this. Spike field cave. Teapot slinger. That pumps up Bane's, uh, Baker's Bane duo. Makes it a 3-3. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do you have more removal opponent? Looks like they do. Oh, prize simulation. Oh, that's another one of those annoying alchemy cards. Well, that's not fun. All right, let's see what that's. Opponent, your move. Mabel coming down. They make a crag flame token. They go swinging. No blocks. Down to 15. All right. So with that, can I... Okay, so here's how we do this. We Scorching Shot Mabel. So that puts her away. We will... Let's see. Bridge Work Duo on Teapot Slinger. That pumps up the Baker's Bane duo. Okay. That works. Swing here. They're down to 11. Okay. We're getting there. We are slowly getting there. Skyclave Apparition. Boo. Opponent. That's not fun. Not fun at all. Okay, so swing hit us down to 12. Okay, bushwhack. So here's how we do this. So Marrera. We pump. And then we can go attacking again. Bound it. Down to 8. Okay, we're almost there, everybody. Almost there. Ramble Guard Captain. They pump. Okay, no attack. I'm sorry, no blocks. Collision Colossus. That might be helpful for later. So with that, we will play the Great Henge. We expend. Need some life. We will then play... How do we do this here? Okay, I think... Hmm. Kenai Curator. Expend 8. Draw a card. Okay, that's not too bad. Let us... Rock Ace Village. Sacrifice a map token. And then pump up Bane's Baker duo. All right, got another card out of that. Okay, no attacks yet. It's right eleven. They're at eight. They have a lot of mana open. Mabel's coming back. Pumps up Bramble Guard Captain. They lose their Crag Flame though, so they now have to spend more mana on that, which is okay. They will pump up their Bramble Guard Captain. Okay, it's a 7 4 with trample and haste. Hmm. Alright, that's fine. They swing. Okay. Cheeky, their opponent. Actually, no. Block here. Down to 5. Alright, I think we got him here. Okay. Make some mana. This is actually perfectly fine now. So we will end the festivities. Do a little damage there. We'll play Field of Ruin. Guardian Glade Walker. Trigger, trigger. Marrera gets some pump. Gain life. Environmental Science. Gain some more life. Alright, we got him. 
This will get us another forest. More pump there. We will fight. Bramble Guard Captain. Get that out of the way. We will break out. Expend eight. Get Bramble Familiar. Onto the battlefield. Live draw a card. All right. And there you go, everybody. That's how we do it. Not too bad. All right. We got him there. Oh, that felt so nice. Very nice. All right. So with that. Yeah. Sorry for the technical issue earlier, everybody. So we're going to just try to continue on for a little bit longer, and then we'll be wrapping this up soon. But otherwise, we should be... Should be good to go here. All right. Here we go. All right, we're going to see. Can our trash pandas get there with what we got? So... All right, so with that, okay, so we do have a game trail. We got forest, scorching shot, take out the trash. Okay, and we got the roaming throne. Okay, let's keep this. Our opponent is playing Harrogas, erupting Nullkite. Okay, so they're playing Eldrazi dragons. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, game trail. We reveal the forest. Nothing yet. Pass. Okay, Labyrinth. Okay, so it looks like they are playing mostly colorless. We'll see if that helps or hurts us. Okay, Baker's Bane duo. Make a food. And pass. Alright, opponent, what do you got? Okay, Prismatic Vista. Okay, that's fine. Snow covered waste. Rekindling Phoenix. Oh boy. Alright. We need to find a way around that. Up at first, Morera coming down. No attacks yet. Okay, so if Morera can stick, we can start casting bigger things, and that'll help us out a ton. But we have to find a way to survive. That's all we gotta do now. Okay, another land. Uh, opponent. Come on. Okay. You're tapping mana. Opponent. The clock is ticking. Uh, opponent. They go swinging. Down to 21. Uh, opponent. Alright, so here comes the Null Kite. So they do hit a merge. So this might be a problem for us if we're not careful here. We're just going to have to find a way through this. None of our stuff, though, however, gets around this, unfortunately. At least not yet. Okay. Faithless looting. Okay, Raccoon Rallier. That might be helpful. Roaming Throne. We expend. Gain some life. Call Raccoon. Uh, let's see. No attacks yet. So they sacrifice, of course, their egg, and they get back their phoenix. Okay, so we got some scary flyers we have to deal with right now. We'll find a way to get around them. OK. 
Come on, deck. Anyways, one thing I forgot to mention, I think some of you who have left, unfortunately, because again, the stream didn't really quite go as planned. We got a little outage there. Don't worry, the full stream should be up on X as of the once I'm done here. So we'll try to have at least a copy there. I think X has the full thing. I guess note to self in the future, I might have to actually record these. Just to actually keep a full copy on my on my actual computer here. We'll have to plan that out in the future. Note to self. Alright, down to 14. Okay, and also looking at the clock here, we're looking at about maybe 20 minutes left in the stream. We'll see how much more we can do. Opponent is still thinking, though. They got four cards in hand, they have a Faithless looting, and they have five mana open. What do you got, opponent? Kozlik's man. Okay, so they did have an answer, unfortunately. <sighs> okay, that's fine. Another forest, which will be helpful for later. In the meantime, though, uh, let's see. Hmm. How do we get around this? Okay, let's break out. I guess we'll get the Valley Flame Caller. Let's see, and then swing here, I guess. Yeah, not much else we can really do right now. This is kind of awkward. So sacrifice the food, make a little, gain a little life. Up to 17. Down to 18 for our opponent. Oh boy. Alright, well we're still going to try to get around this, everybody. Don't worry. We're going to try. What do you got? Come on, opponent. Okay. Um, other thing I forgot to mention also is, for those of you that are... Like, I do apologize. I think YouTube basically now cut the stream, so I would have to actually cut this completely and restart it, which I can't do because X is still recording a copy, and then Twitch stops it. But the moment I, re be I get the recording back, they just reset and create a new recording, if that makes sense. So, I don't know. I've realized all these platforms have a different way of handling a live stream if it gets... If the feed gets cut, which is kind of awkward. So, no. Our opponent's got Trumping Carnosaur. I don't think we're going to survive the next turn, so this is going to stink. But that's okay. Either way. Okay, so we got a mountain. So, let's see. Is there any way out of this? I don't think there's any way out of this right now. So, the Scorching Shots. Scorching Dot doesn't even take out the rest of this stuff. So, hmm. Okay, we will gift a card. Not what I want to do, but... It technically does... Take out their mana rock. They will get a card. There's nothing else we can really do, though. So, they kind of get a free card out of the deal for no reason. Uh, Scorching Shots. We take out... This does give it dual triggers here, but it's not enough. So from there, unfortunately we will concede here because they have 10 in the air and we cannot stop that. So unfortunately that stinks, but hey, we'll get him next time. We will try again. So I think we can squeeze in maybe one or two more matches and I think that'll probably wrap it up for this stream. Again, I will remind everyone if you see this later on on YouTube or X or whatever, don't worry. I will have an extra copy. Unfortunately, yeah, I, I, I lost internet for like a whole minute, and apparently that just throws off the stream, which kind of stinks. However, one thing I will say I commend at least X slash Twitter on is streaming there. It's still going. So for those of you that want to watch the whole thing, just check it out there. But I do know many of you watch me from YouTube, so we'll see if we what we can try to do to scrap up this makeup for what we're missing here. Otherwise, let's see. Okay, opponent, what do you got? Uh, 
uh, opponents. Are you there? Uh, opponents? Opponent, are you there? Okay, opponent is still thinking. Come on. Or did we lose internet again? Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess I could do a quick little test right here just to make sure I didn't actually poop out again. No? We still got internet, so I'm not sure what's going on with our opponent here. Maybe they lost internet. Well, clock is ticking for them. I don't want to get a free win this way because that's not how I like to play, but, I mean, it is what it is. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay, well, we'll give our opponent again a chance to hopefully jump into the game, because unfortunately that happened to us earlier, so I understand how that feels. Um, we'll still try to play, I guess, a little bit. But otherwise, uh, as we start getting near the end of the stream, for, for those of you who are still hanging in there, whether you're watching from here or wherever, thank you again. Appreciate all your support. As always, and I, I know I say this a million times, but again, just again, if you want to support me, all I have to do is again, give a like, follow, subscribe, check us out on the Discord. If you want to be a true fiery friend, you can also sign up for the Patreon. Not a requirement, though, but any and all support that you can provide me will be greatly appreciated. So we do thank you on any of those locations. Otherwise, looks like our opponent is probably not there. So this is unfortunate, but it does count as a win. So I'll just kind of let it go. While our opponent hopefully can connect or reconnect, or I don't know what they can do. Uh, I guess the other thing that we're going to start talking about here is we'll then start mentioning that, again, for those of you that were interested, I will put up uh, some info on the upcoming uh, player stream that will be next week. A uh, date and time to be determined, so we'll, we'll figure that out later this week. And, yep, our opponent was not there. I, I guess they maybe they, dis got, they also got disconnected. That kind of stinks. But, oh, well. I know how that feels because we just had that earlier. But, any case, okay, look at the clock right now. I think we can get away with, again, maybe one more, two more matches. Depends on what this next one is. But we'll be wrapping it up very soon, everybody. Thank you one more time. I appreciate all of you. And again, hopefully we will have a much more consistent uh, stream overall for the next time we play. Alright, so, come on. There we go. Alright, alright. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Alright, my fire friends, here we go. Can our trash pandas get us at least one more, maybe two more wins here in Brawl? Our opponent is playing Aklazaz. So they're playing a bat. Cavalry Courtyard. Sack bats. We will get get out of this. I think we'll get a mountain. Okay, we're getting a life, so we're up to 26. Opponent's just playing pure mono black. Okay. So we have to discard a card, unfortunately. Our opponent will be able to pick which one they want, which is annoying. But again, not horrible. Since we're mostly a, a creature deck, that means they can get their pick of the litter here. Okay, another mountain. So play a forest and pass the turn. So there's not much else we're going to be able to do for a little while. And they're mono black, so I'm anticipating we're going to get a lot of removal. Which is unfortunate. Okay, so we'll throw away the mountain. Opponent's got four cards in hand, though. Virus beat. Okay, yeah, they're all on on discard. Very, very annoying. We'll throw away 
the blooming blast. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, Marrera coming in. Come on. I believe in you. Unfortunately, our opponent has removal, so that's also annoying. Bounce back, Marrera. Please tell me you don't have any more removal opponents. Oh, they do. <sighs> okay, we have to exile a card now. It's fine. Down to two cards in hand. Down to 25. I mean, on the very other decent part is at least it's a slow... This will be a slow process. So, take that ruthless negotiation. That's not coming back. Sorry, opponent. Pass turn. So we have to get more cards to pump up Kenai Curator here. Okay, more removal. Very annoying. Uh, I guess we'll... Let's see. Hmm. Well, it'll just be their graveyard, so it won't matter. We take away their graveyard. They destroy our card. But we exile those out of the graveyard completely, so that's not too bad. They have one card left in hand, but they only have four mana open, so they're still missing what they need. Let's see. Mountain. Cultivate. We get another forest. Another mountain. Put down the forest. Mountain in hand. Okay, so our opponent basically now can see our whole hand, which is also unfortunate, but it is what it is. Acklezod coming down. Okay, so we mill a card. Virus Beetle hits us. Rush Shield Rampager is not bad for later. Here comes Marrera. And pass there. Let's see, so... Okay, so we'll have to start discarding cards soon. They have one card in hand, though. What is your last card, opponent? One card in hand, opponent. What do you got? Russian Dread. <sighs> I discard two cards, too. So, annoying, annoying. Take that back to the command zone. It's now seven mana, so... Not much else we can do here. They draw a card. They make us discard a card, so we have nothing in hand now. Hmm. I might as well just use this. Okay, Bushwhack. We will get out of Forest. Put down the Forest. Okay, opponent. You have basically stripped our whole hand, but you're also top decking as well. What else could you have? <clears throat> nothing. So they hit us. They get to draw a free card. We're down to 11. Well, this is going to be a sad way to end the stream. Another swamp. Crack their clue to investigate. Okay, Barnacle Broxer. Okay. Rara coming in one more time. But they already have two cards in hand, so... I don't know if that's really going to do anything. Oh, opponents. Don't tell me you have more removal. No. Please, let our panda survive. They're thinking. Yep. All right. I think this one's done. We'll just concede here. So there was no way for us to win that one. They stripped our whole hand, and they were just getting free value out of drawing cards. So we're just going to cut our losses there. Okay. One more match, everybody. This will be the final one for today. Win or lose. Whatever happens, happens. And then from there, we'll do a quick little wrap-up. Talk about some brief upgrades for you, and from there, we will <clears throat> talk about some of the future stuff that's coming out within the next week, and that's pretty good going to be it for the stream, everybody. Um, I know most of you right now, as I'm talking about this, are probably not even watching anymore because most of you who are on YouTube probably don't even know this is up, but don't worry, again, I will mention it in the comments for that video that there will be a copy of the full stream on X, Twitter, whatever you want to call it. It will be there, so don't worry. There is a way you can still enjoy the remainder of the actual video, and I'll leave a link for all of you, so don't worry. There will be a way to recover that. <clears throat> okay, until then, so we're playing Gaunty. Big Gaunty, okay. So, Mountain. Can we do it here? Okay, Conduit Pylons, Surveils, Arcane Signet, so they're doing the ramp. We got our ramp too, so Cultivate's not bad yet. 
Brazen Collector. If this can stick, then hopefully we can start doing our thing. We shall see. Okay, I'm mounting. Field of Ruin. We'll swing here. We make a mana, which is nice. Down to 23. Okay. We will play Cultivate. So we can start getting the rest of our ramp going. Wow, they actually played a wash away on the Cultivate. That's rude. Opponent did not want us to ramp. Usually a rule of thumb when it comes to playing the game, people usually don't counter ramp. Unless if it really will cost them another turn. But usually people don't actually do that with ramp. So it was interesting our opponent actually chose to do that. We'll make another mana. Opponent. Down to 21. I guess now this is a turn to do Rhythm of the Wild. Alright, it sticks. That's good. Pass the turn. Okay, so Bloodline Pretender can come in. Siphon Insight. Ugh. Not a fan of decks that steal things from us. That's not something I enjoy. But I guess that just means I'm just more of an honest player. Hit Improvised Club. Opponent is going to try to do this, so I'll just sacrifice it now and just hit him with some damage. It does not resolve. Okay, so how do we get out of this? Okay. Nothing from our opponent. <clears throat> We will play Bloodline Pretender. Can't be countered, so at least we have protection from counter spells. Call out Raccoon. And I guess we'll make it hasty. We have three cards in hand. We know of the Siphon Inside is coming back at some point. Siphon Inside again. So they steal more cards from us. <sighs> We don't know what it is, but we'll find out eventually. Rogue for Cavern of Souls. Four cards in hand, opponent. What do you got? Gaunty's coming down. Big Gaunty. And Doc Arlock, the bear. Interesting. Okay. With that... Do we do this now? No, I think we should play Map the Frontier. So Map the Frontier. We'll get the Arid Archway and the Bristling Backwoods. They both come onto the field. Ping. We will bounce back a forest. Replay the forest. And we'll swing here. Okay. Bloodline Pretender. They got their gun. At the very least, we got that out of the way. Okay. Four cards in hand. Doc our lock. So at least we locked out for a little bit here. Oh, they got Nashi. So they do their ninjutsu shenanigans. 21. They steal one of our lands, which is unfortunate. Changeling outcast. Alright. Doc our lock returning back. Okay, so how do we do this here? We don't have enough for both of these. I would love to have put down Tribute to the World Tree and... But otherwise, okay. Plus one, plus one counter. Valley Flame Caller. Get some life. Put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Okay, so at least they're now a little beefier. So we do have now a turn where we can do some stuff. Hopefully. Gaunty coming back for full price. Opponent will swing with Changeling Outcast. That triggers off Gaunty, which is also annoying still, but it, it it is what it is. Rugged Highlands gain life. Spike Field Hazard. Hmm. All right, so how do we do this? Okay, tribute to the World Tree. We will Spike Field Hazard that Changeling Outcast. That's gone forever. Gain some life. No attacks. Okay. Now, if we could just get at least a couple of creatures, we should be okay. Should be. Opponent will swing. Valley Flame Caller. Block. 
They both die. So that means Gaunti is off the field again. That's a really expensive opponent. Wow, they played it again. All right. I mean, that's fine. All right, our turn again. Come on, deck. Collision Colossus. I mean, not what I want to see now. That doesn't help us at all. But we can pump up if our opponent is cheeky enough to fight. All right, they do. Block here. Collision Colossus. Pump up our Marrera. Do you have an answer, opponent? They don't. Okay, so they lose their Gonti again for a third time. That's a really expensive opponent. But they have the mana to cast again. Oh, jeez. But I mean, they're wasting their turns just spending mana on that, so I guess that buys us some time. Okay, Invigorating Hot Springs. Doesn't really help us here all that much. Okay, no attacks, and pass. Okay. Almost done. We will see, everybody. Can we survive? Can we outdo this Gaunti? We literally have nothing in hand, just our commander on the field. They have three cards in hand. They go swinging here with everything. I guess we will block Nashi here. We're down to 19. They lose their Rat Ninja, though. But they will get to steal something from us, which is unfortunate. I swear if that's a creature. Oh, it's a creature. Ugh. We needed that. Ugh. Oh, that stinks. Come on, deck. Oh, it's a land. This is not helping us at all. We'll just add another counter to Marrera here. So it pumps it up. Oof. This is terrible. Not quite what we wanted to see here. Okay. Wait, how's that? Cavern Souls? Wait. Oh, it's because they sold my Cavern Souls. I was like, wait, how did they get two Cavern Souls? Okay, it was because they took mine. Well, that's rude also. No attacks yet. Ghoul Charm. Hmm. This might be helpful for later. We'll have to wait and see on that. So here's how we do this. Okay, Veraska will be annoying to deal with, but we can Gruel Charm back our Bark Knuckle Boxer. See, wait, do we do this here? No, hold on. Not yet, not yet. Excuse <coughs> me. So, Gaunti Trickers off again. Steal another card from us. I swear if it's another creature, I'm going to be sad. It was another creature. Ugh. Opponent. That's not nice. Okay, still got three cards in hand, opponents. What do you got left? Anything. Okay. Well, I mean, Gruel Charm still helps us out here, so we can gain control of our permanence. So this means we get to take back at least our raccoons. Don't underestimate Gruel Charm, everybody. It's actually not as... Oh, wait. are they? Do they have Sacrifice, Fodder? Do they have Removal? Oh, okay. So they get rid of our Tribute to the World Tree, which is sad. We could have used that. But at least we get back our Raccoons. So at least we got to steal them back from our opponents. So that's not bad. Is there any lands we want to blow up? Nah, there's nothing really. Save that for Creature Lands. All right. Make some mana, but that doesn't really do anything. Arcane Signets. Vigorating Hot Springs on the Bark Knuckle Broxter. And, okay. Well, I mean, I guess we'll swing here with our Marrera uh, opponents. Nothing. Okay. Damage? Okay, down to 10. We're not out of this... We're not down yet, everybody. We're still in this fight. Although, barely. 
he still has Sunset. Oh boy. That might be it for us. Unless if we can get some removal, that might be it. Okay. Block with the Bark Knuckle Boxer. Both Roscoe's are dead. That makes it into a treasure, which is annoying. But they have tons of mana, so I'm not worried about that. Okay, come on, deck. Oh, my goodness. Deck, why are you doing this to me now? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, don't let us die like this. Not as a whimper. Gain life, but that doesn't really help us. Put the last counter on top of Junk Blade Bruiser. But we can't swing anymore because they already have Glissa. And that means still she'll start blowing up our enchantments. So Rhythm of the Wild won't really do anything. Invigorating Hot Springs will not do anything with us. Ugh. Worst way to go out, everybody. Just whimpering. Hmm. Alright, they're gonna blow up an enchantment. They get rid of Rhythm of the Wild. They steal another card from us. Alright. Well, looks like our opponent pretty much kind of locked us out of here of trying to get anything going. We only have a land in hand that doesn't do anything. Tap land. Or actually, I would say, yep. Desert land. So, with that. Alright, they expend. They blow up the whole board. Wow. I'm shocked they actually blew up the whole board, but okay. We can take back our Morera. I don't know why they blew up the whole board. That's weird. But okay. That's what we want to do, opponent. I mean, that's fine. Game trail. Morera. Scrappy Bruiser. We get to expend eight. Stainful Stroke. Okay. Um, that still stinks, but we do get to trigger off at least the expend. So... With that, pass. Hmm. I still don't know why our opponent blew up the whole board. I don't know what that was going to do. They had the advantage already with their creatures. Caustic Bronco. And that also makes our Gaunti super expensive. I don't know why, their, why our opponent did that. Still a little confused, but okay. Okay. Mountain down. This is going to go to waste, so you might as well just use it now. Proliferate. Or I should say, dig, dig out a land. Okay, still kind of where we're stuck at. So, in other words, no... Nothing to use. They're at 10, we're at 13. Okay, tap land. Opulent Palace. Okay, well at the very least, we can blow up this land. All right, so take out the Restless Cottage. All right, so at least this way we can dig for a land. So get another land out. Not that we needed that, but we just had to get rid of that creature before it started causing problems for us. All right, we block the Bronco. They lose their Bronco. Okay. Not sure again why our opponent did that, but it's fine. They kick Thieving Skydiver. They steal our Arcane Signet, which is, again, annoying. But we have tons of mana, so that's not a problem for us. Okay. Well, we're still not down. Web Weaver. We expand. Gain some more life. Okay, up to 19. Hey, we're starting to make a comeback here, everybody. Oh, wow, we actually beat them? Oh, my goodness. We had no business winning that match. Our opponent, if they didn't ramp, I think would have beaten us, but I can't believe it. <laughs> we actually won. Woo! Okay. Yay! So, I think that's end. That's it for us, everybody. We're going to cut the stream here. We'll do a quick little wrap-up, and then we're going to just end it now. But otherwise, thanks again for those of you that are still watching this. Don't worry. A copy will be up on other locations. I might throw up the quick little replay of this later on just as a quick little wrap up just for uh youtube viewers but don't worry there will be a full replay there later on um otherwise <coughs> <coughs> excuse me everybody 
Okay, so with that, let's go ahead, let's do a quick little wrap up of the video itself overall. So that was Trash Pandas for you, everybody. And what do so you tell me in the comments below? What do you think? Would you play this deck in any way, shape, or form? Truth be told, I actually am really impressed with the deck, and it actually turned out a lot better than I thought. So I'm actually really happy we got a chance to try this out. So thank you for those of you who voted to get me to play Raccoons. I honestly had no faith that Raccoons were going to do much of anything. But you saw right there, the deck actually does a pretty good job of stuff. Some of the key cards that are, were All-Stars, of course, were cards like Roaming Throne, Great Henge. Those are your key ones, Vanquisher's Banner. They are expensive in paper, but if you can get copies of them, that makes this panda so much more better and i highly would recommend that if you do want to play this now the only other major upgrades i would say because again we're going to try to wrap this up quick is honestly you have all the best raccoons you can get in arena already in this deck so there's not really much else i would do with that i might change a couple of key cards but i would say maybe get stronger wraths that's probably going to be your best thing get at least one or two bigger wraths to just help out with the game plan so in other words Let's see, and we'll do this real quick. So, uh, instant sorceries. So, your best options here. So, cards like Great Train Heist to help get more damage in, create some treasures for you. Cards like Anger of the Gods, Brotherhood's End, these are all perfectly fine. If you want a little chaos to your trash pandas, use Chaos Warp. That's also really great for you. Um, if you want to, Sweltering Suns, basically any of these powerful wraths will help you get through what you need. So cards like Burn Down the House, if you want to. Um, we have Explosive Singularity, if you want to go big with all of that ramp you could do. Or Banefire, if you want to try to beat out your opponent. If you want to do other wraths, you can do cards like Star of Extinction. Those are perfectly fine too. Those mostly are what I would say would help you out with this game plan here. If you want to deal with certain things that you're having trouble with, um, maybe you're doing some more ramping, Escape to the Wilds is a great card as well. Um, otherwise, the only other thing I would say is maybe if we just... We didn't run into it in this match, but if you're trying to stop life gain... There's other ways you can deal with life gain, so cards that shut that down help you out a little bit there, or making sure the damage can't be prevented. Those also would be cards that I would recommend for you for your pandas. <clears throat> this may seem like a weird option for you, but Song of uh, Totentens is actually going to be kind of cute if you want to throw this in there. You actually don't even have to pay the X, because it still gives all of your creatures haste. So it doesn't mean just rats. So this is actually a pretty good way of just kind of closing out the game ASAP if you want to be really quick with it. If you want to do more of the fight mechanic stuff, you got cards like Thrash and Threat. Uh, Tarkus Command is also a great card to give yourself some pump and turn off life gain as well. Um, trying to think what else is going to be good for you. If we go into um, here, Protection, you have cards like Heroic Intervention. Those are pretty good for you. Um, Archdrew's Charm, it's a little expensive with three green, but this can help you again with a little bit more ways of providing protection for you. Well, not protection, but I mean like getting rid of artifacts and enchantments because they exile them, putting some counters on some stuff and dealing some damage, so it is pseudo-removal. And then, of course, some pseudo, um, uh, sorry, uh, ramp yeah that's what i was trying to say <laughs> uh you can use cards like smuggler surprise these are also good too mostly it's going to be i would say a lot of these cards where you can be flexible with the cards with these such as inscription of abundance for kicker costs again looking at ways of pumping up your creatures and maybe also having including a fight mechanic into it i think are going to be the best cards for you for this deck overall that's mostly what i would say uh natural order sadly you can't do uses in brawl but if you could this would be broken for you uh, Harmonize is also pretty good for you as well to help dig out some stuff. Again, there's so many options you can do here. Um, I'll do a couple more notable things I would say in these colors. Um, well, I mean, there's not much else really. If you wanna, if you really want to do multi hateful cards, you can do cards like Decimate that can help you out as well. But overall, the card, main deck is actually perfectly fine as is. As always, though, and I know you're probably gonna hate me from saying this as always, but I will still say it. Upgrade your mana base. Get in all these. Uh, rare duels that you can. Stomping Grounds, get that first. Get your Copline Gorge. Get the Pathway Land. Capsule and Forest as your Pain Land. Uh, if you want to get a Creature Land, there's not really any Raccoons that are Creature Lands, but if you do need a couple Creature Lands, cards like Rest Line, uh, Restless Ridgeline here can be helpful for you. If you want to do other lands that are helpful for you, Castle Embreath is good for you. Den of the Bugbear. Um, if you want some more support to do more damage, Ojer, 
Axelani might be also good for you as well. Beseju, that's also a really awesome auto include you gotta have for the deck. If you're making a ton of um, mana, Lair of the Hydra is perfectly fine. Castle Garenbrig, because we are primarily a creature deck, so that could be good too for you. Um, Ojer Castlem can be good for you if you just want to start just getting a ton of creatures and lands out, which is great for this deck. So those are mostly going to be the best options for you. But otherwise, that's mostly what I would recommend for the upgrades. Finally, the final part of this video, for those of you who are still watching on X, because it's pretty much the only platform this is going to be on, but I'll try to make a copy or at least dump an extra copy onto... I was going to say, um, I'll probably put the, the remainder of the stream on Patreon. I'll leave it for free so all of you can watch it there, so don't worry. Um, otherwise, for the future, for the next several days, here's what we're working on. We're going to talk about the, the pre-constructed decks you can buy on Arena. We'll talk about those. I have a video for that, my opinions on it, and overall just what you can get with it. And then next week in the future, as I mentioned, we will be doing a... Uh, viewer stream so for those of you who do, do want to take me on don't worry i will find a way to set that up in the discord so again join the discord and you can then participate in that if you wanted to next week for my birthday yes the inferno man is going to be having a birthday celebration next week so we'll do a fun cute little birthday stream with that but we'll get more details for that otherwise in the future we're looking at going to be doing a more of the basically decks we have most of them as i mentioned over the past couple weeks we're kind of refining them but i think we're pretty much done with them we just need to start filming them so the dungeon deck will be the next one in the series but that again will be late next week otherwise that's pretty much it for you everybody that's all i'm gonna say for today thank you so much for everybody that's still watching do not worry we'll try to make sure that we don't have any technical issues next week at least hopefully for the uh, for the fan stream. But I pretty much don't have anything else to say except have a wonderful, wonderful week, everyone. Thank you so much for hanging in there. And just remember that no matter what you do play in the game of life, always be sure to burn bright. See you next week, everybody. Later. Later.